Six and one coming into this game. Apparently, Oliver Perez is going to be the nine game reward for myself if I am lucky enough to get there and if I am lucky enough to get through these games when they work. Because I've been hearing from a lot of people too that since the maintenance and whenever the hell that was, that shit has been worse. I think that BR is the problem. Because out of every single ranked seasons game I've played, I'm not really sure how many I've played in total, only one of them has froze. Just one. Probably around 90, not 90, probably 75 to 80% of the BR games I've played have been frozen at one point in the game. So, that's just from my experiences. I know a lot of people are probably experiencing, you know, games freezing in uh, ranked seasons and stuff, but BR has been the problem for myself. Every single game mode you play seems to be... Uh, when you play the games, the games go to queue and stuff, but BR has been the issue for games freezing. So yeah, for myself, like I said, so I'm not really sure if anyone's experiencing uh, the same as me when just BR is the issue and ranked seasons is fine. I find that too, when your games do go to queue in ranked seasons, uh, for myself, I'll just have to wait. It doesn't even matter how long it is. It could be five minutes. It could be a day. My games will show up at some point in time, I think. Because I did have one game, I think it was a couple days ago, that went to the queue and then a couple hours went by and then it did eventually show up. But BR, when your games go to the queue, sometimes they won't even show up in your game history and then you'll have to, you know, play the whole game again. Like, right now, for example, I'm on six wins and if the game went to queue after, if I was able to win this game, then the game would just go to queue and it wouldn't even show up and then I'd still have six wins. So, BR is the issue and yeah, this is... This is just something that everybody knows by now, so I'm going to try and take everyone's minds off of this bullshit that's going on because I'm sure a lot of people are sick of hearing people complain. I'm not complaining, I'm just uh, asking if anyone else is uh, experiencing the same thing as me when just BR is the issue and ranked seasons is alright. But yeah, coming into this game 6-1, and one, and this guy's squad wasn't... I think he had three diamonds in, in his starting lineup again, so I wasn't worried about a diamond in his pen like the previous guy. I mean, I was saying it in the previous game too. As long as it's not the 95 Billy Wagner, I should be good. And then what a surprise. He comes in with, with Billy Wagner in the second inning or whatever it was in the previous game. So I was able to get the W luckily because Billy Wagner has been my assassin. He's been the guy who's just destroyed me. In every single MLB The Show, pretty much. So, look at this. This this is one of those guys with those hanging curveballs. When, it, when it's floating in, your eyes light up. So, I mean, I was just sitting on... I was just waiting for this guy to try and loop in another curveball. Because, yeah, man, when you see that thing come in, you, you're going to hit that thing 500 feet at least. So, I was just waiting for this guy to drop in another curveball. Which is why I am late. Very late. On the fastball, twice in a row, he's getting me. Guessing, guessing the curveball right there. I go down swinging with Griffey. So, I mean, maybe he's going to go back to the fastball again. This is the thing, too. You don't even necessarily have to throw a triple digits to fool people if they're sitting on something that's... I don't even know how fast the curveball was for this guy, but look at that shit, dude. What you, like, what is that, man? I'm, I'm waiting for this guy to just float something in again and send something a million feet, pretty much, but... Ernie Banks able to come up with a base hit right there. So Ernie Banks is still, still going at it. Still trying to keep the squad alive. So now Goldschmidt is up. And I think I did have a couple guys warming up in the pen too, just in case. Uh, my pitcher was able to get up in this inning. Obviously, I'd be going to a pinch hitter. And I wasn't really sure if I wanted to go to Ichiro because just the live series, Ichiro isn't that good. Like I said in the previous uh, game, I'd rather use him in a pinch run situation. But this guy was kind of struggling to find the strike zone a little bit, so this would have been good if I was able to get Wade Boggs up to the plate. But Goldschmidt is cashing in too. This is the two-out rally squad. This BR squad that I have, they've been stringing together two-out base hits and just getting some rallies going with two down. That's just kind of been the case in this game in general, I find. But I got Ernie Banks on second. I got Goldschmidt on first, so not necessarily that speed is on base. Even though Goldschmidt does have 70 speed, which is very good for a first baseman. Wade Boggs is up next. Another hanging curve that I just ground out right there. So Wade Boggs, unfortunately, wasn't able to capitalize on the opportunity. Could have driven in some runs. Unfortunately, wasn't able to do so. So now in the second inning, this guy is still looking to get on the board. I think this guy had uh, the 90 overall Joe Carter in his lineup. 
And a couple other guys too. I think he had the, the 95 McCutcheon. So yeah, I'm pretty sure he had three diamonds in his starting lineup. So I mean, he wasn't going to have any anyone crazy, I wouldn't think, in the bullpen. Unless he had, you know, Carter Caps or Hunter Strickland or something. That would be a pretty sick squad for this guy. Getting away with one right there. So this is why I was giving this guy so many sliders down in ways. Because obviously he was sitting on the fastball right there. And then when I was, whenever I was... Uh, giving him some sliders and just off-speed pitches down in the strike zone. He was just swinging and missing like you wouldn't believe. So, I mean, obviously, I'm just going to keep giving this guy stuff he can't hit. Why am I going to try and sneak in another fastball at you know any given moment and let this guy hit another one or get the opportunity to hit one to the moon again? But sinker down and in gets Arenado swinging right there. So now Russell Martin is coming to the plate. And I don't know, around this time in the game, if you're giving somebody a lot of stuff, a lot of off-speed stuff, sliders down and away, they're probably going to start sitting on that stuff. So it would be a good time to uh, start switching you know, the pitches up a little bit, start giving this guy more fastballs right there. He's making some solid contact, but unfortunately for him, just a ground ball right to Ray Wade Boggs. So the Sanchez, he is up. That is a towering shot to straightaway center, but does not leave the yard. A couple feet short for Sanchez right there. But this guy, you know, got kind of unlucky in the previous inning when he hit one of the straightaway center field, barely made it to the warning track too. So I guess Gary Sanchez couldn't put enough into that one to leave the yard right there. I mean, this is this guy was kind of getting unlucky in this game too. I mean, that's Brandon Phillips at second base. I think his live series card is, what, 88 fielding? So, Brandon Phillips making errors. You don't really see that a lot. Obviously, that does go down as an error. So, Bichette gets on base. Ryan Braun is up next. First pitch swinging. This guy was doing a good job of throwing some off-speed pitches on the outside part of the plate to get me to roll over on a lot of stuff right there. But he tries to make the play at second base. Does not make the play. So, there's still only one down. Ichiro is up. Yeah, I know I said that. You know, I may not put Ichiro in in a situation like this. But, I mean... He, I think Ichiro did get kind of a clutch base hit earlier in this BR run, so maybe Ichiro can do it again. I, I was thinking, I was just sitting there thinking, like, who should I put in? Ichiro is in. So this guy is another looping curveball again on the outside part of the plate, and again, I roll over on it. So Ichiro was able to avoid the double play. Robinson Cano is up. Look at that PCR. That thing is huge. Cano. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. On a big swing by Cano as he lifts this one high and deep out to right field. And splash down. It's in the McCovey Cove. Robinson Cano might be the heart and soul of the squad. I know Ernie Banks has been going off the past couple of games, and this run wouldn't even be possible if it wasn't for Ernie Banks, but Cano is right up there too, man. If it wasn't for Banks and Cano, this run wouldn't even... This game wouldn't even be taking place right now if it wasn't for Cano and Ernie Banks. So Cano gives the squad a 3 nothing lead going into the third. So this is it's looking good, even though I don't have lefties in the pen. I think this guy had a couple lefties coming to the plate. So yeah, I wasn't really worried that much. 3 nothing lead, as long as I wasn't going into the third inning with a one-run lead. It should be good. Swinging at something very, very inside right there for this guy. And that was just a little line drive to right field. So now Brandon Phillips needs to redeem himself. This guy needs to redeem himself with Phillips at the plate after that mistake. I mean, that could have been the reason why that rally kind of got started was because Phillips did make that error, but just grounding out to second base. So now there is two down with the pitcher coming up. So obviously, you would think he's going to the bench. I don't know, maybe he didn't have time to do it or something. First pitch, you, no, no, anything but this. Two outs in the third inning, and this is going to happen. This is a troll if I've ever seen one. Unbelievable. Two outs in the third inning, and the game freezes. I was actually sitting on this screen for five, at least five minutes, and then the connection was lost. I'm not sure what happened. The game went to queue. I am, I am, I have, I'm a lost for words.